how would you feel if you sat down to a dinner of meeting up with maggots? Would you be hungry if you knew right your meal would probably be followed by a really upset stomach? What does boiled food have to do with America's history? Well, it all began with a bunker of rotten meat. Meat van needs spices to cover the bad taste. Spices that Columbus set out in search of on a journey that would take him across the sea of gloom. Who found America? Probably a couple of hungry prehistoric hunters in search of something rolly and mammoth to eat. Both who hiked over from Asia at the time when the two continents were still connected. We had the New Land all to themselves for well over 2,000 years until around the year 1000, when a boatload of Scandinavian sailors stumbled ashore and tried to put down roots in what is now part of Canada. These Vikings lasted about a year before we gave up and headed home. After that, no one but some stray fishers bothered with the hidden land surrounded by great oceans until Christopher Columbus took a deep breath, offered up a prayer, and sailed off across the Sea of Gloom. That's what the Atlantic Ocean was called back in 1942. Old sailors swore there were monsters in the sea that could swallow up a ship in one gulp, but Christopher Columbus was a risk taker. He had faith in himself, his sailors, and his ships. He believed he could reach the Orient, land of spice and silk, by going west instead of east. His confidence paid off. He discovered a new continent. When Columbus returned home, word spread fast through the Spanish courts and across Europe. There was gold. There were jewels. There were fabulous riches everywhere. Soon, explorers from every seafaring country in Europe set off to claim peace of this new world. They felt that the which is a mysterious new land where theirs were taking. Therefore, it's going to stop them. The best and worst of times. This beautiful country was a land where people made mistakes, where too much was not fair, and where greed made people do bad things. Yet, it was also a land of new friendships, where over time, people began to accept and understand the ways of others from different distant lands. Here's the story of how and why so much went right or wrong in the very early days of America, the years after Columbus returned to Spain with news of his amazing discovery. Where the continents collided, something special happened in the Americas, something that set us down apart from the rest of the world. It was here that a mix of adventurous European settlers, brave Native Americans, and Africa's strongest men and women, hundreds of different cultures, languages, and beliefs were stirred into something new and wonderful. Things that did not exist in America, like horses and metal, were unloaded from European boats. That did not exist in Europe, like tomatoes and potatoes were shipped back from the new settlements, and life on both sides of the ocean was changed forever.